All right, so the new 2K1s, the Swift Shore and the Thresher, have just arrived. We're here in Dan's workshop checking out the, uh, the new models here. I wanted to give everybody a quick video preview. We'll start with the white. This is obviously the with date version. What you see hopefully lines up with what you expected based on our renders pre-production. Give the bezel a little turn. Feels about the same as the 40 millimeter subs. I would say there's just slightly more backlash in the bezel, which is expected when you've got bigger diameter bezel, typically get a little more slop in that bezel action. But otherwise, it's the same sort of look or feel and sound as you get with our 40 millimeter NTH subs. Give you a quick look at the brushing and polishing on the case side. Big fat crown, case back. As you can see, the bezel is a little bit wider than the case. The bezel is 44. The case is actually, well, the bezel is 43.75 millimeters. The case is one millimeter less, so 42.75. Call it 43 case, 44 bezel. And the bracelet has a more severe taper. It's 22 millimeter lugs, tapering to an 18 millimeter folding double lock and clasp. Helium escape valve on the nine o'clock side. And um, as you can see, we made some improvements to the end link to increase the definition on that center section. Hopefully you guys like what you see. Recessed the end link a little bit. I think it's about half a millimeter below the surface of the lugs. Again, just to give the look a little bit more, I don't know, distinctiveness, I guess. So that's the white with date. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a little bit of a indented frame around the date window, so it's not just a hole cut in the dial. Moving on, this is the blue version of the Swift Shore. I'm not sure if it came through in our renders, but as you can see, the handset is framed all in white, and those are applied markers. Otherwise, same case and length bracelet, all of that. This is the black version with the turquoise highlights on the seconds hand, the model name on the dial, and the uh, primary minute markers at each hour. Uh, like the blue version, the raised applied markers are framed in white. So these are not printed. This is a applied indices on the dial, but I wasn't sure if that came through in our renders. Hopefully you can make that out in the video. Moving on to the Thresher. The markers are also applied, also framed in white, as are the hands, but the markers are set into the beveled chapter ring or rehote that goes around the perimeter of the dial. Uh, so there's little notches cut in that rehote and the markers are set in there. Lastly, I took out the DLC version of the Thresher. You can see that the entire case, clasp, all the little hardware pieces are all DLC. There's no fading in between. They had to coat each of the links individually. Nice brushing on the DLC finish with those polished chamfers running along the case, tapering out to the end of the crown guards there. So hopefully you guys like what you see. You know what, let's get a quick loom shot. You got a uh, UV torch in here? Top drawer? Top drawer. Oh. So let's do the white. The white, and we'll do the Swift Shore. I'm sorry, Thresher. We'll take those in the other room where it's a little bit darker. Lights out. Yep, lights out. So this is outside of Dan's workshop in the storage area. Lights are off out here. You can see loom is strong as always 
There we go. Ah, nice and focused. Have the, um, uh, we didn't hit the crowns, but they're loomed. I forgot to loom the crown or light up the crowns. We'll catch that real quick. You can see that it's already lighting up even in a brightly lit workshop. We'll take it in the other room just the same. Come on, focus. Well, my camera on my phone isn't cooperating, but hopefully you can see that crown is loomed. Loom on the watch glows really nicely. Good bezel feel, good action, nice and tight. Should soften up, be a little bit less harsh with use. Dan's over here getting started on QC already. So that's it, guys. That's the new Swift Shore Thresher, the 2K1s, stainless, DLC, date, no date. You get the idea. Hopefully you guys like what you see. Dan's going to finish QC uh, before the end of the weekend, and uh, we'll be shipping these out to our retailers uh, by early next week. They'll hopefully also be, well, I can guarantee they'll also be available on the NTH website. So if you're looking forward to using your rewards points, or patronizing uh, one of your favorite retailers, you'll have that option for both. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for checking it out. Later.